हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अवर चैनल केमिस्ट्री एकेडमी फॉर आई जेई एंड नीट हम आई एन सी एच ओ टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन का क्वेश्चन सॉल्व कर रहे थे हमने थ्री पॉइंट वन से लेकर थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स पार्ट वन तक ऑलरेडी डिस्कस कर रखा है दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो इज पार्ट टू ऑफ दैट क्वेश्चन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन आई सो लेट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स पार्ट टू हियर आई हैव मैंशन दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो विल कैरी फ्रॉम थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स टू टू थ्री पॉइंट ट्वेल्व Moving to question number three point six two, the question is for the structure A to E in three point five, the compounds that are optically active are. We have to mark X in the correct box. So let's see. A is chiral because yes, if even I try to pass any plane of symmetry, there is no possibility of that this center will get any image this side. so this molecule is going to be chiral this b is a chiral now you may get confused at how is it a chiral let me show you with models so this is a seven member ring this black 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 this is a seven member ring this blue ball is nitrogen it is connected with ch3 these are the hydrogens this side is oxygen and is connected to hydrogen now if you can see this the way i have directed towards you if you pass a plane from this oxygen this carbon you will have exact mirror image of this side to this side right if you pass like this you will have a this sky image this one this one will have this similarly down side so this molecule should be a chiral as it has a plane of symmetry all along correct this is the overall molecule and it seems to be a chiral i don't know why hpcsc has given this molecule to be chiral this is a, a chiral molecule so let's continue so b should not be an answer but again c should be an answer because it is very evident like a that it is also having chiral centers it is not having any plane of symmetry D is chiral because this center will not have any image this side. So D is chiral. Similarly, E is chiral. So answer of this particular question should be A, C, D, and E. These are the optically active molecules. HBCSE has also given B to be optically active, but we have just shown that it is not optically active. Moving to next part, this question is the question. reads oxidation of c with cro3 gives diabasic acid l l on heating with hi at 150 to 300 degree centigrade gives 1 mole of methyl iodide 0.580 g of l is dissolved in 100 cm cube of distilled water 10 cm cube of this diluted solution required 6.2 cm cube of 0.1 normal noh for neutralization right and it is already been said here that the acid is a diabasic so for this acid l n factor has to be 2 right and for koh we know n factor is going to be 1 determine the molecular mass of l show all the steps in the calculation let us see the solution let us assume the molecular weight of l is m number of equivalents of l used will be 0.580 into 2 why i am taking this because 0.580 upon molar mass okay 0.580 upon molar mass this is the number of moles multiplied by n factor will be the number of equivalents present now these are dissolved in 100 cm cubes so i took that in denominator and 10 cm cube of this solution was taken for experiment so multiplied by 10 so this is the number of equivalents of l used number of equivalents of koh used is 6.2 into 0.1 upon 1000 because the normality value is given and the volume given is in ml so i had to use this so total number of equivalents of koh is 62 upon 10 to the power 5 now by law of equivalents the number of equivalents of acid should be equal to number of equivalents of base so i'll equate number of equivalent of acid and base and by solving this equation you will get the value of molecular mass of l to be 180 Seven. So from here we calculated that L, which is a diabasic acid, obtained is having a molecular mass of one hundred and eighty-seven. Correct. Ah, uh, you may have a little doubt that what is the purpose of this L on heating with HI is giving one mole of methyl iodide. Its का क्या purpose है? So let me tell you. 
here this particular point should be used as for example if i had this n attached like somewhere as a ring and then only ch3 is there now when this is treated with hi at this high temperature of course acid base will take place like this ch3 positive now i minus being a strong nucleophile it attacks like this and you will have this plus ch3i so this particular line that it forms only one mole of ch3i indicates that nitrogen is having one ch3 attached to it this reaction is SN2. So whenever there is a preference, it will be CH3 only, which will be attacked by I minus. So let's move to question number 3.8. 3.8 is asked, write the molecular formula of L. We have, we already know what is the molecular mass of L. We already know that it is a dibasic acid. Now we have to predict the formula. Now from question number 3.5, we have already known that C has two probable structures and those two probable structures are these i have again copied those two structures to be here now possible molecular formula of l has to be something with assuming these two structures that it is c6hy n coh whole twice correct and the molecular weight is already calculated in 3.7 to be 187. Now taking this formula in consideration, I am equating 187 with 12 multiplied by 6 plus y plus 14 into, uh, sorry, plus 45 into 2. Solving this, I got y equal to 11. So I got the formula finally as C8H13NO4 or you can write from here C6H11NCOH whole twice. You can write either of the two formulas by directly calculating from uh, the previous questions moving to question number 3.9 now we are asked that oxidation of l gives one of the products as m they have given the structure of m draw the structure of l we know that c on oxidation will give l and l on oxidation is giving m this we already know now it says that c is having a molecular formula of c8h15no this is in the initial question already mentioned. L we have just calculated to be C6H11NCOH whole twice. M, that M also we know that it is C5H7O2N from here. If you see the structure, you can, from this structure, I estimated, I calculated the molecular formula of M and written here. So from C to L, when we go, we see that there is no change in carbon and nitrogen atom count. The carbon count and the nitrogen count remain same. If you compare the difference in oxygen and hydrogen count, you will find that three oxygen atoms are added when C is oxidized to L and two hydrogen atoms are removed. C, now C has two probable structures. We have already seen in the last question, these two. If I take case one, then by the way they have taken oxidation, it seems that this bond is broken and rest remains same. So if this bond is broken, I'll have COH, CH2COH. Now the structure is symmetrical. So whether you break this bond or you break this bond, both will give L to be the structure I drew. Now case two, when this particular structure is taken, then L is by the same logic, either it will be broken from this side or that side. If I break it from this side, from this side, then I will get this structure. If you break it from this side, then you will get this structure. Now, both these structures are four-membered rings, whereas the question directly indicates that the ring formed is a heterocyclic and is a five-membered ring. So if it is a five-membered ring, definitely the answer cannot be case two. And we have to continue with case one to be the answer. And therefore, we got the C structure of C to be this, correct? And this structure, so we also got what is L from this. L is this structure, right? From here only we got L also. Now the question is, draw the possible tautomeric structure of M. M is already given in the previous question. M is already given in the previous question and the structure is like this. So if this is the structure, these two ketos, if undergo enolization, then the ring will become aromatic and this is the structure formed by tautomerization correct this is an aromatic tautomer so definitely its contribution will be very high and the structure is 
this return in red on your screens. Moving to question number 3.11. Now 3.11, it says, based on all the above observations from 3.4 to 3.9, the structure of C is, I think we have already estimated in question 3.9 itself that the structure of C is this particular structure. So by this logic, the option B is our answer. The correct answer will be option B, right? Moving to question number 3.12. They are asking, draw the possible structure of alkaloid A. We have to draw the possible structure of alkaloid A. Now, till 3.10, we 3.11, we have already known that the structure of B is pH, CH, COH, CH2H. Structure of C, just in the last question, we confirmed that this is the structure of C. Question has given that B and C are obtained by hydrolysis of alkaloid a. So from this, we can predict that the structure of A should be this one. So the structure of A should be this particular structure and C, the linkage. See the linkage that I have used to join B and C is a ester linkage because the question said that A on hydrolysis in presence of barium hydroxide. So it is a basic medium hydrolysis. Ester can undergo basic medium hydrolysis. Other choice that you might have taken for combination of B and C, right? For B and C would have been ether linkage, like from this OH, from this OH. But ether linkages do not open under basic conditions. So it won't undergo hydrolysis as mentioned in the question. So we cannot take ether linkage to combine B and C. We took ester linkage to combine B and C. Someone may ask that why not amide? Here is nitrogen, here is acid. Well, amide is not possible because nitrogen here is a three degree amine. So it cannot be the choice. So that is why we took ester. Now from all of this, we also got the formula because initially it is given the for molecular formula of alkaloid A is. So I have verified the structure with the formula given in the question on page one. So this was 3.12. Now 3.13, 14, and 15 are way beyond J syllabus. As the mains are closed, I don't know whether you all will be interested in 13, 14, and 15. They have no direct connection, rather no almost connection to J syllabus. So I'll hold that part three in case if any of you really want to go for 13, 14, and 15, I have already prepared the solution. I just have to make a video. As you all know that we are uh, daily uploading videos for the revision series for mains 2023. Please share, subscribe, and like our channel. Uh, by observing the number of views based on the subscribed viewers and the unsubscribed viewers, there are still a lot many viewers who are watching our channel but have not subscribed. I request you all, it is just a fraction of a second for you to click the subscribe button please do so and help us grow. Thank you.